Well, first of all, uh, what I said was that the language used by the president when he was a candidate was racist. I never said anything beyond that. I'm responding to an invitation from the president of the United States, and I'm very happy to do so. This is a, a tradition that's gone back very many years. Indeed, it was enhanced by Tip O'Neill and Ronald Reagan many years ago. But it's not about me or the president. It's about the symbolic contribution that the Irish have made to America over 250 years. Um, and will continue to make. So we want to work with the administration uh, but as a microcosm of the European Union. Ireland's had a, an extraordinary uh, participation in American society, cultural, literal, political, business, and we want to work on that. I would say that after the uh, famine of the 1840s, when uh, the Irish came here because they believed in America, they believed in the compassion of America, and they believed in the opportunity of America, and we still believe in that. And speaking of the Irish coming here, there, the estimates are there's something like 50,000 undocumented mm -hmm. Irish living in the United States right now. Mm -hmm. What's your message to President Trump going to be about those undocumented Irish immigrants well, who are here now? I think it's important to separate two things here, Eamon. You, you normally have with countries, uh, with the United States, uh, allocations of visas for young people to come and live and work for a period get experience of American society and American business and, and all of that. Secondly, the question of undocumented is part of the bigger process of immigration reform. Now, we know that there are over 11 million people living in the United States who are undocumented. 50,000 of those are Irish. And they're people who are here who do not have full documentation, yet made the choice to come here many years ago, may be married, may have families, contribute to American society, live and work, and in some cases have died for America. So that's part of the bigger process of immigration reform that is a matter for the American administration. So I will say to, to, uh, to President Trump and to Vice President Pence and Speaker Ryan and others, uh, we, we're not looking for a special deal in terms of the immigration reform. It has to be part of the overall immigration process. We would like to see a far greater allocation uh, of uh, short-term visas for young people like we had in the past, and which was indeed part of the, of the Schumer bill, uh, where up to 10,000 could be granted, but that fell with the, with, with the election process. After Brexit goes through, you're going to be bordering a non-EU country. What is that going to mean for the economy in Ireland? How are you going to handle that tension? Um, this is probably the most complicated uh, economic issue of the last 50 years. We have very good relationships with uh, the United Kingdom. We have trade of about 1.2 billion across the Irish Sea every week. But when the UK leaves, Ireland will be the only country with a land border internal to the European Union. Now, when we had that border in previous times, it brought with it sectarian violence and troubles. And we don't want to go back there, and we are not going back there. And my political agreement with the British government is that there will be no return to that kind of hard border. Now, that's a political challenge, but I, I've made it perfectly clear that that foundation is one that we both agree on. If you drive from Dublin to Belfast today, you will not know you've crossed a border, except when your phone goes, 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 goes click. So we're not going back to that kind of a border with customs posts, which brought with it sectarian violence in the past. This is a political challenge, uh, and that's the foundation that we've laid down, with which both governments agree. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.